Miss Lauren here. Welcome to today's video where I am unboxing a huge box of stuff I got from America. So I sent these to my um well my computer says like it's like dying. I got this sent to my um what should I call it? The shipping forwarding center um that I use. Um it's been it was delayed by like two weeks, but it's finally here, so I'm gonna unbox it. I'm really excited because I have some stuff I have wanted for a while in here. I have some stuff I got from my trades and um yeah, I'm really excited. So I'm gonna get my car keys and I'm gonna open this box because I am very excited. Um so this video will be up after I've posted the on my Instagram because after I record this I'm recording it um on Instagram. So, that'll be fun. So, oh, I've cut across a package. Whoopsies, but it'll be fine. Right, let's uh, go. The cell tape is seriously tough. I'm really excited. So I'm really excited for this because I've been after some of this stuff for a little while and especially in the condition I found it in which was even better. So I'm going to open this first because they put the padded envelopes on top. Um, but it doesn't make a mess of my room. Oh look at everything in this box is amazing! So the first thing I got is something I saw someone else get who's also a part of this video is Lua Lauren. She posted she found this COVID straw on eBay and I got it sent to my forwarding address because it's really really cute and it only cost like six dollars to my US address which basically worked out at the time at just under four pound so it's really cute and it's still in its original packaging um it's got a straw hugger so he like clips onto the straw from the back but yeah I'm really pleased to have him I've never seen him before I know there's a Kiara somewhere but I've never seen Kovu so pretty pleased with that next up I've got another envelope which is some more Simba's Pride stuff I used to have these and I think I gave them away it is the Red Rooster which is Australia um, they're faster toys for Simba's Pride so it comes with a Pumba a Kovu Timon and Kiara now this is where everybody's going to hate me because I'm going to take them out the packet but and then they work out to be like a funky looking puppet so I don't know if my camera will pick them up but they have outlines it's crap and the yellow light doesn't really help but um, there's outlines of the character on here like little designs which is pretty cool um, so quickly open these taking 20 year olds out the toys out the packet I'll just dump them on the floor with the rest so let me remember to put these together right so this isn't going to work because well it is going to work but it's not going to go very well for me trying to hold it so you put it together like that and obviously like two ones at the back my oh there we go falling apart but that's basically that so I'll dump them over there so next is part of the big bundle I bought of figures and I'm really excited for these. I bought a bundle of 16 box figures which came to about £50 which is a bargain because it's not even £5 a figure. So they're all in the original packaging and um, so we have like the Simba, Timon and Pumba and there is like the backing of it. Um, we have the elephants which are pretty cool. The cheetahs. So these are a part of the circle of life friends. Um, I have a boxed Simba and Timon, and these are them. And we have boxed Rafiki, Simba. I'll leave those to the legs. We have some more circle of life animals, which are the I just can't wait to be king friends. I've wanted these for a while. Because um, you don't actually see a lot of merchandise of the actual animals, so it's really nice to have. Um, who else do we have? These doubles. Oh no, that's a different set. Um, some more Can't Wait to Be King Friends, and it's the elephant, zebra, and ostrich. Let's see who else we have here. We've got a boxed Mufasa with Simba, boxed Nala and Zazu. 
this is really bad because I'm trying to pile them up on my chair but it's not working to throw them down there Let's see what else we have we have some rocked rhinos um, which are pretty cool and then we have some box giraffes so it's near enough all the Mattel set that's been boxed here um, but I got some other stuff also got the packaged mini Pride Rock play set which is really cool um, especially in the packet so next up are the four things that were also in this bundle I bought this huge bundle for one thing um, I don't have any of this box but the main reason I bought this is coming up so it also came with the figure erasers so we have a razor Pumba and a razor scar if you've been following my collection for a long time I did have these once upon a time but I gave them away and they were in the packet um, but I didn't have these two um, it's a little bit dusty <laughs> there is the rubber Simba and then my absolute favorite because I never knew this existed it's the a razor Nala adult Nala I never knew she existed so this was a must for me um, she's really really lovely and I'm so happy to have her I've never ever seen her so I'm really pleased with that um, so yeah that's my huge bundle of figures which I'm so pleased for because they were an absolute bargain I won them for like $76 which was about £55 so when you do that between like 16 figures it's not even £5 a figure so let me just very carefully put these guys back down here because where are they going to go you ask? Not a clue. I've been completely honest with you. So that's going to be fun. And next up are stuff I got from a trade from a fellow collector called Lua Lauren which I super appreciate. Um, the first thing, well it's not really the first thing, she saw an item and she thought of me because I collect these but my mum collects them, I collect them, you know that sort of thing. Um, it's the Disney store plush of Cinderella. I don't have a Cinderella. Um, I've got like the limited edition doll and stuff of Cinderella, so I'm really happy. And she's really pretty, and I love her details on her dress. She's one of the newer um, Disney store slash park plushies because they put new details on her dress, and she is lovely. So thank you so much for her. Um, and next up, we have the box that she sent me. Oh, that made a horrible, horrible noise. Let's make sure everything's done. Where did I put my car keys? Oh great. Okay, I'm just gonna have to try and rip this open because I've lost my keys. Yep, I have lost my keys. Um, but oh wait, I think I've got it anyway. It looks like originally they were gonna just um, send these boxes separately, so I'm glad they fit it all in the one box. Because last time I had, there was like four parcels I think I had and three arrived and I thought I had everything and it turns out I didn't the other box came the next again day so I'm really glad because I completely forgot the things that showed up the next again day I had actually ordered but yeah right so let me I have almost got it there we go it's catching it on here Ugh. right okay this bit bends, aha, right. So I'm really excited for what's in here. I look so tiny on this camera. Let me just sit up a bit. Don't know if it's because my background's so big. So um, she messaged me saying she was clearing out some of her collection that didn't fit her collection anymore. And I thought I'd be so happy to adopt and naturally I was like, yes. So I got this really, really cute lunchbox. Um, I'm not sure where these are from, if it's from like Target or Walmart. So we've got this little Simba one and he is so soft he is adorable um, like I said I'm not sure where it's from but you can never have too many lunch boxes so he is adorable and next up I absolutely adore Simba's Pride and there is a Simba's Pride jigsaw with Simba and Kiara which is adorable and I love it so much I'm gonna see if I can fit it on my shelf um, as a backdrop it's so pretty and then next up we got some Pez. I don't have any Pez from the new range of Lion King ones, even though they're pretty much the same as the old ones, um, but it's a double set with Simba and Nala, which is really nice. And um, yeah, I really need to buy back most of the Pez because I sold mine as per usual. And now the last thing is like my favorite thing because I was saw this like it was released in America 
and it is another lunchbox but it's a small but mighty one with Simba and Nala and this one is my favourite um I was really jealous when I saw people like oh look what I got from here there and it was this lunchbox and I was like I really want that so when she offered me if I'd like to adopt it I was like yes please so thank you Lauren for these stuff um I have no space for them but I'm sure I'll find space eventually so yeah it's really cute like I said I don't use any of these these just stay pretty but yeah I'm really really pleased with my haul but there is another big unboxing of my linking stuff I got from America um, I don't know where any of this is going to go. I'm now going to show everybody on Instagram. So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram at Lauren's Pride Lance, go ahead. I post Lion King content there pretty much every single day if I'm not working my backside off. Um, so yeah, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe, and I will see you guys soon for another video. Bye.